Hey guys, it's Kylie. In today's video is the top 10 pins in my collection. Um, these are the top 10, well really 11 pins I picked that have emotional meaning to me and have some sort of like emotional connection to them. Um, I'm going to start with this Test Track pin. Um, this was one of the first pins I got. I actually had it on my lanyard and lost it and noticed that while we were in Epcot and like freaked out because I couldn't find it and it's my favorite ride and at the time like that's the pin I wanted and my favorite pin that I had. I only had like 10 pins then. Um, so we went and bought another one and I wouldn't put it on my lanyard again because I didn't want to lose it. Um, but it's just, it was, it's always been my favorite ride. I really love the original Test Track. Um, not so much the newer Test Track, but the Test Me version, that was always what I enjoyed. Um, the next pin is this pin trading logo. It just represents pin trading. Like that's a big side of me is pin trading and it's also Chippendale which is my favorite characters and the main characters I collect so that's just another big important side of me and represents like kind of who I am this pin is the Frozen 5k it looks like the medal you get from the Frozen 5k um, I ran this in 2015 with one of my friends um, and like the rest of my family ran it too um, my family's pretty big runners we we used to do road races all the time, and to be able to do a run Disney event was wicked fun. Um, I'm obviously a Disney person, not as much of a runner person as the rest of my family, but to put the two together and just have fun running through Epcot and experiencing even the behind the scenes that you do while the run while you're running, that was really cool to see. Um, this next pin is a Sorcerer's of Magic Kingdom. It's the medal that they show on the screen when you win. Um, I've completed that for three times on the easy level so I finally decided on our last trip to buy the pin um, I'll have the haul from that video linked up in the iCard but this is the pin that represents winning and I kept saying I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it to get it. Uh, no 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 and I finally decided on this trip I'm gonna get it and this is the pin that it's got like pins up here and it's got the metal look to it <laughs> This is a Belle and Lumiere pin that kind of opens up. It's from Food and Wine this past year. Um, to the, me, those are two. Well, those are two of my mom's favorite characters, and to me, it represents like finally going to Food and Wine because we had always said, "Oh, when once I'm out of college or in college, and I, I can go," because it's always in September and October. It's never a time. It's not easy with school because school always starts in September. I can never get there. So it being in August, we were able to go, able to get there as just like the two of us and go and have fun. Um, we enjoy eating and trying all the different foods and it just represents that fun time and that time we kept saying, oh, I'm going to go. And like the second I saw that it was going to be in August, I like ran down and said, you want to go to Disney in August? And like that was something we kept wanting to, we were going to do, we were going to do, but we were never able to go because of when it was. It was finally then. So that's what that has for meaning. This next pin is this Point Us to the Buffet pin. It's Chip and Dale, um, which are, again, my two favorite characters. Um, I obviously, I'm a food person, and just to have all the options on the cruise and just the cruise in general, um, that's just an important pin that represents, like, that's totally me on the cruises. I want to see where the buffet is. I know where all of them are, and I just constantly, the point of, fun of the cruise is just constantly being able to eat whatever you want with no control. Um... This next pin is just an open edition boo pin. Um, it represents me as a little kid. Uh, I, as some of my family said, I always look like Boo as a little kid. Um, that was just who I was. So like whenever Monster Inc. His ink was on, they would say, "Oh look, it's Kylie," because that's who I was. I look like Boo, and I was this little crazy kid. Um, uh, so this is me and that's what it represents so once I started pin collecting I had to get a boo pin and this is what I got to represent me um this next pin is a Toy Story Mania pin it's one of my favorite rides at Hollywood Studios um we always have a contest and who can score the highest on this and who who can beat each other because it tells you like who's the champion in the cart and who out of the four like our family um can win this pin actually my sister gave to me as a present um, even the ear moves a little bit, it's got like a moving element to it. Um, I just thought it was a really nice pin and it's just a rack pin, but it's a pretty nice pin and it represents like the fun of our family. Um, this next pin is our family tree is full of nuts, um, which our family tree is literally full of nuts and figuratively this is just to show 
because they're chipmunks so of course their family tree is full of nuts because they eat nuts but like our family is just something crazy and it represents the insanity of our family but how like the two chipmunks which is me and my sister as we always say because we're twins and there's her and me and just our family in general these last two pins um, were a gift from my cousin. Um, he used to pin collect like way before I did, like collect pins all way before I did. Um, Tigger is a big fan favorite in my ho household. It's one of my sister's favorite characters. Um, so these pins are Tigger. Also, the pins are basketball and fishing, which I didn't notice at first, but once I like realized that, I was like, oh my god, because that's so me. Because I go fishing all the time in New Ham, like, like in ponds in New Hampshire and stuff and the basketball like that's my main sport it was always been my main sport was to play basketball and i manage basketball and like basketball is my thing so like those are two big parts of my life and it's a disney pin with tigger who's a main character like we always do crystal palace as a family because that's tigger poo all those characters so yeah this is the top 10 pins that have meaning to me that are in my collection um not all of them some of them are obviously rack pins just open edition pins that you can buy, hidden Mickey pins, there's some limited edition, limited release. Um, but they're just pins that have more emotional meaning to me. Not so much like which ones are like worth the most money and the most expensive, but it's the emotional value of them that really matters to me. So here you go, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, remember to like, subscribe, and check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you guys later.